fifth column for working in our national defense industries for the purpose of sabotaging our preparedness program through strikes, slowdowns, explosions, and other destructive acts. The only way that we can defeat their aims and purposes is to expose them before they strike and to get them out of the industries. To rely solely upon efforts to watch them in the hope that we may detect some of them in the commission of crimes is to invite national disaster. That was the method tried in Europe, which proved a failure. We have proven that fearless exposure followed by vigorous prosecution is the democratic answer to the fifth column. Our committee is the only agency of government that has the power of exposure. Therefore, this investigation must go on without fear or favor, and our slogan must be, no quarter to the enemies of our country. The effectiveness of our secret agents depends on their being unknown and unannounced. Many of them operate in peril of their lives and must work quietly and without publicity. But I can assure the American public that the combined forces of the Army Intelligence, the Navy Intelligence, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, by methods quite consistent with American traditions, are well able to deal with organized sabotage, espionage, and the fifth column activities. And now, my parting words, I give you the motto of the FBI's heritage. Fidelity, bravery, integrity. May you cherish it as we do, and may you exemplify it as we have sought to do. I thank you. As a boy, I put on the uniform of my country. And every year since then, I've been in the public service. As long as I live, I want to do some kind of public duty, no matter how modest it may be. I'm sad to leave my present post, but of course, I'll be happy to take up my new duties too.
Edward R. Stettinius, former undersecretary, is sworn in by Supreme Court Justice Jackson as United States Secretary of State. Now 44, a former business executive and administrator of Lend-Lease, the new secretary is congratulated by Chief of Staff General Marshall and members of his own family. Mr. Stettinius signs the oath of office and emphasizes the need for collaboration in building peace. United States Supreme Court Justice Jackson swears in Vice President Sergio Osmena as the new president of the Philippine Commonwealth. Congratulated by his daughter, Senor Osmena signs his oath of office as successor to the late Manuel Quezon. The United States.